Look at that empty highway. The world is under quarantine, it seems like, which means it's a perfect opportunity for us to do some rock hounding. Specifically, well, at this road cut here, you can kind of see Sarah's already getting at it. I have wanted to get some zeolites for a very long time. There's not a lot of options in eastern Washington, Idaho, to get that, except right here we got this spot. It's not a very, uh, well, nice spot to rock hound at, obviously right on the highway, but it is absolutely gorgeous here. Uh, it is along the Snake River, so you can probably deduce where we're at. But let's look. So right here on the side of the road, Z lights. And this will also be fun. I've wanted to do some um, mac macro. Yeah, macro photography of this stuff. So we'll be able to collect some good samples and uh, go from there. Probably do some rock busting, try to get out some neat pieces and see what we get. So these things are just everywhere. This stuff's very crumbly basalt. Grandron basalt. Got that really nice pocket right there. That'll be very cool. There's some good little pockets in here. I'm trying to chip them out. I think maybe I can just kind of work around and get a nice big piece out. Now I know it's probably not going to show up on the GoPro. But look at that. Little nice little white spikes. That'll be very cool to take some photography of. You know, I'm chipping out of the hillside right here. You went down like 20 feet and you have some very different stuff. That almost like, uh, man, that looks like a little geode in a way. That's yeah, so there's cool. There's a lot of this, like, yeah, solid things in out down there. That one, it's almost like little hairs in there. Wow, yeah, it's not gonna come up well through the GoPro. But, we'll definitely uh, be able to take some cool photos of these. Let's try to... Oh, don't, yeah. don't dump them in the bucket. It is a lot <laughs> different. It is different down there. Yeah. And like the little white things come out. Huh. I don't know if you can smash that. I just did a little bit with my finger. Yeah, they really like fall right out of the rock. Huh. Yeah, let's, uh, let's get some of that stuff. pocket it's pretty good I like this little area right in here we're trying to work some of these oh, it's a, oh, it just broke. it's a lot more crumbly down a little further and it looks really different yeah let's get plenty of each location though yeah so just right here in this basalt I just found an agate that right there that's an agate let's uh Illuminate it a little bit. Check that out. How cool is that to see it get an agate out of the out of the host material in which it formed? It's crazy. I'm definitely gonna be going picking through a lot of this looking for agates. Yeah, look at this stuff right here. Wow, that's so cool. Yeah, like there's one right there. A little agate, a little agate, agate, agate. Okay, I'm just gonna try to break off this big chunk right there. It's so neat. Little pockets. Not as good as that. I kind of want to pop that out. I mean, just imagine finding an egg at that size in this. 
I just kind of want to break the whole hillside apart. Wow, that's was not expecting that. Just got a couple more. This little guy right here in my hand. This one right here that's in the basalt. Be real careful putting that in that bucket. There's some super fragile material in there. This already came apart. Well, look at that thing. Whoa. Oh, I can't wait to get back in and take some photos of this. So these things, all the little guys fell out. That's totally fine. <laughs> there was another one. Who knows where it went? Oh, man, I love this stuff. Love it. I could just split rocks forever. Right out. Just pull that out. That well, solid little agate. Whoop. <laughs> it's like uh, my new calling card to like Butterfingers I'm something on video. Little one. Throw it in. All right. You got this piece right here. Really? This one, that little agate just popped out. Check that out, that's like pretty perfect. Huh. Oh, like... Here's another one. Oh, yeah, that's all. Like right yeah, this whole thing wants to collapse. Check that out. That little nodule right there. Cool. Here, can you take that? I see this guy right here. Look at that little broken piece, that little white piece right there. Look, that split. So nice. I wasn't expecting this here. Check this out, Sarah. Let me go put that in the bucket. Wait, here's one more. <laughs> Check that out. There you go. Got this right here, that little pocket there. It's very fragile. Look at that. Okay, this is a, just gonna break in my hand, but. Wow. So, it's not that special, but I'll just show you how fragile this is. So the basalt here is pretty interesting. There is some pillowing going on. You can kind of see it in here. There's some little pillows. Not much else anywhere else, just right in this little band right here. I'm sure if you explored all these different road cuts going up and down this road, you would uh, probably be able to find more. Interesting house out there. 70s style geodome. See that? Yeah. It's the house that hippies built. In, in the basalt, when it's cooling, gases are in the, in the lava. It cools, creates the void. And then the silica-rich water and other minerals flow down into it. And there's a half-filled vug. That's so cool. That's like mid-stage agate right there. Let's definitely take that one. I like that. It's the cutest little banded agate right there. Split in half. This one's pretty cool. You know, Usually the way people see agates is they're picking them out of a river. And it's neat to see it 
coming out of the basalt, the river right there, give it enough time, there'll be agates in the river from here. But it's got to get rid of people first. There's just so much here. Yeah. Like, I just flipped this over and there's like these beautiful little pockets. That one I just kind of crushed with my finger, but it had banding. Hmm? Oh, yeah. I come over to show you something cool and you're like, nah, that's not that great. Look at this. Dang. I'm taking that. I don't know if this is just stuff that fell down or if at some point people discarded Well, this it. stuff is so fractured that rain's going to be freezing in there and yeah. uh, when it freezes, it's going to expand and fracture this off. I mean, it's not that much better going straight from the wall. Yeah. Yeah, it's almost like you don't really need the a hammer and chisel. Yeah. You can just pick off and break off with your hands what you want here. Yeah, there's just so much cool stuff. Look at that right there. <laughs> Man. Well, let's not get too greedy. You got your flashlight? I do. In this one. Let's take it. Okay. We got some good stuff. I mean, I'm good to kind of go on and check some other lake hunts. I mean, obviously it could be here a while, but we have plenty of stuff at, our, at this point. Yeah. So I think uh, that's it for this little road cut. We got about two gallons of rock, which is pretty good. We don't need, we don't need more than that. So many people that rock hunt have just buckets and buckets of material and they never do anything with it. They die. There are states left to their rock club to then pawn off on people, sell off, whatever. So really, you know, just there's plenty of rocks to go around. You don't have to just fill up 25 gallon buckets at your house, you know. So we just pulled over. I just wanted to show you real quick. All of those layers that you see there are lava flows, some of which are 150 feet thick. A lot of what you're seeing right there is in the 50 foot range, but that's crazy just to think about it stacking like that. Hundreds and hundreds of feet of lava. So we stopped at this other kind of road cut to look at some cows that were out. <laughs> and there's some, some more. It's not as good as the other one. No. But it's definitely here as well. It's so weird being on the highway and not a car and not a sound. Whoa, that's pretty cool. Let's take that one. This stuff's so red. Yeah, it really is. Also, there's lots of lichen. I think that's lichen. I'm not, um, I'm not the best at identifying that stuff. Lichen and mosses, they kind of blend together a little bit for me. I'm drawing a blank as uh, as to what you call that. Very like pump pumicey. I don't know. Yeah. I can't. Don't hold me to that. This 
if you if you ever want to be corrected on something just say it on a video you'll get a lot of comments correcting you people love that here it all is and we had an absolute blast getting all of this material and if you like that type of content you like these rock hounding adventure videos hit the subscribe button hit the notification bell and ch talk to me down there in the comments i read them all respond to almost all of them, and delete very few. So uh, let's look at what we have. And I know a lot of this stuff is really small. So at the end of this video, there will be a high res macro image slideshow of some of this. First off, uh, the agates. I was not expecting that. All of these little agates, they are so teeny tiny cute. Um, this right here, I mean, that's an agate in in basalt and i was not expecting to get something like that at all i mean that's just that's amazing i i mean i i know how agates are produced but i didn't expect to find a bunch of basalt with agates including that little guy right there with the the banding in it which is so much good stuff look at that how cool is that I don't exact. I mean, this stuff is so fragile. I'm not even really gonna attempt to get it out of the basalt. I'll probably just put a display on my, uh, well, my rock shelf. So, one other thing to show is this right here. I didn't show this. This is a drill core that we found. Now, drill cores are pretty cool. I've wanted one for a long time. But you know, these are either kept by well, whoever was drilling, or you know, they're they're dropped in place and then, well, blown up. My understanding, which feel free to correct me, is, uh, you know, sometimes when they drill for explosives, they'll just use a drill that just grinds up the rock and drop explosives down there. For much larger explosives, they will use a, a, a core driller to be able to drop something down because it's two inches. I might be wrong there. I don't know. I'm uh, just going off of things that I've heard. But anyway, you spin it. It's a pretty cool cylinder of basalt. I'll probably, this end over here, I don't really care for a whole lot. I'll probably cut that off on the saw so that this can stand upright on the shelf. So yeah, there's just a lot of stuff. All these little tiny zeolites. There's a lot of different zeolites out there. Like, I mean, that's not my place of expertise, but uh, you'll just see in the photos how beautiful these things are once you get really, really close. And what else? Yeah, I, I, just, I don't know. I love all these little tiny mini agates that are in the basalt. It's just super cool. Need to think about eventually someday, um, you know, thousands, millions of years from now, that exact same spot will be eroded through the river. People will probably no longer be around and the agates will be going back into the river there once again. So hope you enjoyed that. And uh, let's uh, let's look at the slideshow. Let's look at some good photos. Have a good day.